On Tuesday, May 31st, 2022, the SPC would issue an enhanced risk of severe weather across the border of southwest Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle, with supercells and severe clusters expected to develop. Around 3.30 p.m., cumulus would start towering high into the sky around Memphis, Texas, and the first supercell of the day was born. This supercell would remain relatively weak and only produce small hail. The lead cell would quickly die out, and by 5 p.m., a new cluster of severe storms with embedded supercells was forming to the southwest with two well-defined mesocyclones already visible. Very nice lowering here. Could try to drop one. Gorgeous structure, man. Absolutely beautiful. Jesus, birds. Around 6 p.m., the supercell would produce two EF0 tornadoes near Dodson, Texas. I would capture the second one on camera as it crossed the Texas Oklahoma border. Oh, I got that lightning strike on camera. Uh, I think that's a tornado. Me too. Huh. That's definitely yeah. a tornado. Yeah. Tornado on the ground. When it became obvious that there was a tornado on the ground, I stopped filming to call the National Weather Service to report the tornado. When footage resumes, the circulation is much more rain-wrapped. However, it does appear that a funnel could still be behind the rain curtains. rotation in it though. Watch. We need to watch all this stuff. That's where satellites perform. We need to watch all the yeah. It kind of looks like there's dust in the ground. Yeah, 
I see that. You can. I think that's a funnel. Might not be. At 6.30 p.m., either a strong gust NATO or a weak tornado would form and do damage on the south side of Hollis, Oklahoma. Uh, not really, because I'd, yeah, I'd rather get past it first just to be safe. Yeah, get south of that thing. I mean, go east away from us. One, two. in the clouds above it. I think that on the right might be the actual tornado. You see that? Maybe. If there's one down. If there's one down. Yeah, look, that's a little funnel shape right there. That might be it. I bet that is down right there.
As sunset neared, the storm made its way into my hometown of Altus, Oklahoma. Here I would take shelter and record more footage as the storm rolled through my hometown, causing intense flooding and some major straight line wind damage.